In this problem, we have a function given to us with an expression, and we want to find the function evaluated at some different numbers. I intended to cover up the answers, so I'll just do that right now quickly. All right, we won't find them all. Let's just find two of them. So we'll go ahead and do the a of 8 right here, and then we'll do the negative fraction. So we'll do those two. The other, the other two will be very similar, except different. So first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite the original in my own writing. Now my S's look like fives, just be careful. Luckily, I won't be writing down five, or at least I don't plan to, so these will all just be S's. So I just rewrote the A of S right here. Now I'm going to write A of 8. And wherever I see an S is going to turn into an 8. So where do I see an S? Right there, right there, and right there. So I'm just putting 8 wherever I see an S. Now I'm going to simplify. We're technically done here, but I'm going to simplify. 8 plus 1 is 9, minus 1. Now I want to subtract fractions, so I need common denominators. So I multiply 1 by 9 over 9. So it's 8 ninths minus 9 ninths, which is negative 1 ninth. And that's exactly what we have there. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to plug in negative 1 half. So same first step. Rewrite A of S. S oops, it's S over S plus 1 minus 1 after. Okay. So we have negative 1 half. So it's negative 1 half divided by negative 1 half plus 1 minus 1. Okay. So I need to simplify the denominator. So I'm going to add those two fractions. So I'll just do that right over here. Negative 1 half plus 1. Your 1 needs to be multiplied by 2 over 2, which 1 times 2 over 2 is 2 over 2. And now we have negative 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2. So negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1 over 2. All right, so our denominator, our entire denominator, turns into positive 1 half. All right, we are now looking at a fraction of fractions. Anytime you have that, you should turn it into a single story fraction. So if this is your fraction, you can write it as A over B times the reciprocal of C over D, which is D over C. And when you multiply fractions, you go straight across A times D divided by B times C. So that is how we're going to multiply these fractions, or divide these fractions. We're actually going to multiply by them. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1 minus 1. So now the 1 half times 2, this all cancels out, but it cancels out to negative 1. And negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. I didn't Yours probably won't work out quite this nicely, but mine happened to work out this nicely. Um, and there we go. So that's A of negative 1 half. You'll do the other two parts really similarly, except, of course, you'll have 1 seventh instead of 1 half. Uh, and just be a little careful when you plug in right here with the negative.